It's been almost one year since the deadly shooting at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School. Today, survivors and parents of some of the victims teamed up with a gun advocacy group for a major announcement. CBS 4's Joan Murray is live in Fort Lauderdale with those details. Joan. Lauren, this group is called Do Something Florida, and they came here to the Supervisor of Elections Office in Broward to present petitions. They say they're not after taking anyone's gun rights away, but rather they are trying to save lives. We are here today because it's time to turn our grief into action. Relatives of Stoneman Douglas mass shooting victims carried petitions into the Broward Supervisor of Elections Office. We're here to certify some of our uh, amendments. They want to get a constitutional amendment on the 2020 ballot to ban assault style weapons in Florida. It's time to ban the type of military grade assault weapons in the state of Florida that are used by our military overseas, on our enemies, on the battlefield. I don't believe that assault weapons should be in the hands of civilians. Police officers, military, we own a gun. I'm not trying to take guns away from anybody except for people who shouldn't have them. We understand that gun violence is a preventable issue and that the biggest worry on any child's mind shouldn't be whether or not they make it out of their classroom. Stoneman Douglas survivor David Hogg, one of the architects of the March for Our Lives movement, said much has been accomplished in the past year, but the mission is not over. We nearly doubled youth voter turnout for 18 to 29 year olds compared to 2014. We've gotten over 70 new gun laws passed with the help of groups like Moms Demand Action and other gun violence prevention organizations that are grassroots across the country. On top of that, nationally, we've significantly increased youth voter turnout. And we also have hundreds of young people that are starting to run for office at the local level. Now, it takes more than 700,000 signatures on petitions to get a constitutional amendment on the ballot. They have a fraction of that right now, but they say they're going to be working daily in the coming days and months to make sure they get that required number to get this issue on the 2020 ballot. In Fort Lauderdale, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.